the Game Awards. Love them or hate them, they are one of the biggest events in gaming these days. They are. Last year, we did a video of ourselves looking over the nominees and voting for who we wanted to win each category, and we thought we'd do the same thing. Hmm. Unfortunately, though, our votes don't really count for much. Like, our vote as a gaming community as a whole, they count mm -hmm. for like 10% or something. It's rigged. Yeah, so yeah, it is kind of rigged. The popular vote doesn't mean anything, but hey, it's better to vote than to not vote. You're never going to change the world by doing nothing. Exactly, mm. exactly. Don't forget to vote for us by liking and subscribing down below. <laughs> and let's do it. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's see who's nominated. Oh. Roll the tapes. Alrighty. So we haven't actually looked at any of these nominees yet. So this is our genuine first reaction. See if there's any controversial things like Should last we... year. Should <laughs> we? Cyberpunk. Um, <laughs> That's right, we were so upset about yeah. Cyberpunk yeah. being in it. Yeah, what do you think is going to be contender of Game of the Year? First? Oh god, okay, we're Let's doing guess. predictions. Just one, just one, yeah. Oh, just one? Okay, um, no, yeah, go for it. Elden Ring got a war. Okay, well, I was hoping that you would say one and then I was going to say the other one. Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. Well, because what's that... something else then? A not obvious one. <laughs> No, that's... Go, 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 that, just one more. Splatoon 3. Ooh, Horizon, Forbidden West, mm. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and Indie. Cold of the Land? Yeah. Stray? Oh, I did say in my review of yeah. Stray that I thought it would be in Game of the Year. So let's see. Okay, let's there see we go. There are our little... Let, let's start it. All right, it's... Game of the Year. <gasps> oh, my God! Time. We, the only one we didn't pick was a Plague Tale. Interesting. I've heard amazing things about We're so good. Plague Tale. Not bad. I mean. I'm the, impressed. The three middle ones are obvious. Eldering, Gold War, Horizon, like yeah. they're obvious. Who would you pick? I think we should vote for Stray. I want to say Xenoblade Chronicles 3 personally, because mm. I freaking love that game. Mm -hmm. But I'm not upset if you want to vote for Stray. I also really love Horizon. So yeah. honestly, I'm pretty happy. There's there's nothing I wouldn't dislike to win. It's obviously going to be Elden Ring or God of War. I think yeah. that's obvious. But sure, Stray, hey, I'm, I'm not upset. It's it's a fantastic game. Let's vote for Stray. Yeah, done. I'm happy. Next. Mm. <laughs> Best game direction. Okay, okay, so outstanding creative vision and innovation. It's got to be Elden Ring, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, God of War and it, Horizon Forbidden West are definitely sequels. Stray is, I don't know if it's innovative. It's I don't really know. If, yeah. I don't know if it's yeah. that like mind blowing. This is nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah. Yeah. And I've never heard of Immortality. I it's agree. a puzzle game. It looks interesting though, yeah. but okay. Let's go Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. I reckon. Yeah. It's got to be. Best, Best narrative. narrative. You know what? People are upset with Horizon Forbidden West narrative, but I really, I could not tell you why. I have no idea. I thought it was amazing. The amount of voice acting and cutscenes in that game is ridiculous. So, Elden Ring can't win this. Surely not. It's like, oh, it's got an it's got a narrative. Yeah, but is it like God of War or Horizon level of narrative? Yeah, I don't think so. I feel like a Plague Tale probably, from what I've seen of it, probably has the best narrative but direction we can't vote and stuff. For that but because we don't haven't played it. No. Yeah. So I reckon should we go Horizon? I reckon. Yeah, I love it. Best art direction. Best art direction. Ooh. Oh, I reckon Scorn should get this actually. Yeah. Yeah. Scorn okay. is like it's like you know it reminds me of like Tool. Interesting. Tool's art, yeah. Okay, I really like Tool. I don't know Scorn. So if you think, I mean, Laura is the visual artist amongst the two of us. So I'm definitely happy for her to choose this one. Like, look at that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you're right. It reminds me of Tool. Let's go score. Best score in music. Oh. oh, metal health singer. Can I vote for this one because I'm the audio artist out of the two of us? Yes. It's yes, easily yes. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Okay. Easily. Hands down. There is no Metal health here. singer though. Yeah, look, metal health singer, I like, I like it a lot. I'm, I love metal. It's kind of my thing, but Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is phenomenally good true i remember that time and it's that. got something for everyone yeah okay you know it's right. not just metal although it does have something all right best audio design 
Okay. I kind of think that maybe Gran Turismo deserves this one. I was leaning towards that too. Done. Best performance. Oh, okay. I wish they would tell us what characters they play because I don't actually recognize anyone's name. Well, I guess this is Aloy. Wait. Aloy. Aloy, so close. All right, let's just do a quick Google for who the frick these people are. A few moments later. Okay, Ashley Birch is Aloy. You were right. Yep, done. <laughs> yep. No, I, I, Aloy is a fantastic character. Mm. Games for impact. Um, This is what really annoys me about the Game Awards. I wish you could just skip. I haven't heard of any of these games. I don't feel comfortable in voting, but we have to in order to get onto the next category. I have heard of As Dusk Falls and The Endling Game. The Endling Game is like a, a Fox game, kind of like the last tree sort of narrative, I believe. And As Dusk Falls is, that was in a, like PlayStation Presents, that's not what they're called, is it? State of Play, Sony State of Play. Oh, wait. And they, there's like a family and they get mixed up in this huge like mystery. Yep, okay, yep. Okay, I have heard of the two you just mentioned. Mm. So I guess we're gonna vote for one of them. Yeah. Social meaning or message. I think extinction for forever, really. Yeah, man. Like that kind of speaks to me. So let's vote for that. Yeah. Best ongoing. Best ongoing. Okay. Man, these are the same every year, aren't they? <laughs> Apex, Destiny, Genshin. I'm surprised Call of Duty's not there. Fortnite, mm. Final Fantasy XIV. I'm not really huge on any of these games. I really like Genshin Impact, so. Done. I'm happy with that. It does constantly add content, so. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Best indie. indie. Here we go. Yeah, so you were right. Cold of the Lamb is in here. Yeah, it's not in Game of the Year. No. It's, yeah. It deserves to be in Best Indie. Cold of the Lamb, really good. Neon White, people love that. Like, that's got a really high Metacritic score as well. Seafood, great. Stray is obviously fantastic. Tunic is really... I'm, I'm not upset with any of these, to be honest. We voted for Stray for Game of the Year. Maybe we should try something different. Should we share the love around? Yeah. Are you thinking Colt? Yeah. Yeah, they're Australian developers too. We're in Australia. It would be right rude now. not to. Exactly. Best mobile game. Yeah. Apex Legends, Diablo, Genshin, Tower of Fantasy, or Marvel Snap. I reckon Genshin again. Yeah, I reckon Genshin. I don't really play mobile games, so. Genshin's I love Genshin. Fine. Yep. Best community. Look, the only community I have anything to do with here is Final Fantasies. So. Yeah, that's true. So I guess we go Final yeah. Fantasy. Yeah. Yep. Innovation in accessibility. Okay. This one is so hard because we don't use the accessibility mm -hmm. options in games. Yeah. I wish there was somebody we could ask and tell us who to vote for. Again, mm -hmm. I, I kind of want to skip because I don't, I just don't know. It's, it's like literally like, and then click. I don't know. Return of Monkey Island is a good game. Yeah, should we just go Monkey Island it, because it's, it's a, a good game? It's a fun game. It's a point and click, so I guess that's got That would be, yeah. Easy to implement accessibility options. That's widely accessible, like a point and click, huh? Let's let's just go with that. Best oh. VR. I wish we had a VR headset. I want to go Among Us VR because, like, that's the one that I want to play most, and we don't have a VR headset, so, like, Okay, well, let's base it on that. Yeah. Let's base it on what game would we get first if we had a VR headset. It would be Among Us okay. VR. For me, Done. anyway. Moss looks really cool. Yeah, it does look really cool. Yeah. And, like, look at that little cute mousey. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but Among Us it is. Oh, my God. But do you get like, cause, it, well, I don't know about the price of Among Us VR, but Among Us Everywhere Us is like either free or $5. So do you buy like an $800 VR headset to play like the answer is a no. presumably a cheap VR game? No, Laurie. I'm <laughs> sorry, but, but just, no. Sad. Best action game. Oh, oh okay. This Shredder's some... Revenge? I'm like surprised i think really? to see it there yeah i don't know why because oh, i'm not heaps of people wanted it to be in game heaps of the of people year people froth it people obviously it in game of the year yeah the spawn cast did a poll during the recent spawn cast and shredder's revenge won oh yeah good on them they owe three 
Come on, we're yeah. a Nintendo channel. I, I was thinking not. it, but then like you were talking about Ninja Turtles and I was like, oh, maybe he wants to do Limited that. run games still hasn't delivered my limited edition Shredder's Revenge. So I don't know, I haven't freaking played it. It's been so long. Games limited run games. <laughs> Best action adventure. Okay, so Horizon. again, haven't played God of War so or Plague Tower. So yeah, I would give it to Horizon. Best, Best RPG. RPG. Ooh. Ooh, this is totally my jam. Oh, there's, okay, so for me, I haven't played Elden Ring. Laura's the Elden mm -hmm. Ring player out of the two of us. The other four, I put a lot of time into this year. I mean, I have to say Live Alive isn't quite as good as the other three. Yeah. But you love Triangle Strategy and Legends Arceus. I mean. And obviously Xenoblade Chronicles. That would have been my game of the year. So what do you think out of those? So you've played. I think Arceus. Arceus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm... I would probably give it to Triangle Strategy or Xenoblade over Arceus. I did love Triangle Strategy, but I didn't get a chance to finish it because Tom wanted to play it twice in a row instead. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> but I mean, that just goes to show how good of a game it is. Yeah, it? exactly. Usually I don't have time to do that, but I made time. Yeah, he made time mm -hmm. to play it twice. But Arceus, though. Oh. Mm. I don't know, I'm just not super comfortable. Should we should we rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, we should. Uh, Best out of three. You're Arceus, I'm trying to strategy. Yeah. Paper, scissors, rock. 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 Oh! 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 Triangle strategy it is. <laughs> that was an intense game, though. It went it on was. for ages. It was good, it was good. Best fighting. <sighs> Why isn't like, sh oh, well, I guess it's like Shredder's a beat em up. Yeah, beat em up, up is different. Yeah, it's a beat em up. We copped a lot of flack last year for voting for Nickelodeon All Stars. Oh, ball. yeah. But I mean, like. It was the only fighting game we'd played, so yeah. sorry. We haven't played any of these games, by the no. way. But I think we should pick JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because it's the game out of all of them that I would play. I would play Sifu. Okay. It's also an indie. Okay, let's go indie. So. Best family. Ah, uh, hello, Nintendo category. This is always filled with Nintendo. Yeah, it is the Nintendo category. Well, I mean, there is like a Lego game in here this time. It's not all just Nintendo, but no, yeah. pretty much though. I mean, technically, Rabbids is Ubisoft, but that it doesn't matter. What yeah, you, that's true. What but are like, you Mario. thinking? For me, it's between two of them. Kirby and Splatoon. Yeah, and Splatoon has its online issues. So Kirby. It's Kirby, I reckon. Because Kirby's just straight up perfect. But it's so much fun. We, d I mean, so Splatoon, but it does like have a lot of communication errors. Yeah. So it's not straight up perfect. Yeah. Kirby but is Kirby fun. is. Man, our boy Kirby sold 5 million copies. Congratulations. Round of applause for yeah. Kirby. Best selling Kirby game of all time. <laughs> Best Sim slash strategy. Ooh. Okay, this is weird Ooh. because like Sparks of Hope is not a sim. It's a strategy, it's isn't RPG. it? RPG. Tactical yeah. RPG, strategy RPG. Yeah, but man, why wasn't... There was like so many strategy RPGs. It could be its own... Triangle strategy. It's yeah. in the name. It could <laughs> be its own category. Like That's two, true. Th like these games are very different. Two Point Campus? I, that's what I was thinking. Hey, great mind. So they say. So they say. Oh yeah. Oh, we have to go <laughs> Gran Turismo because it's the only one we've played. Yeah. Best multiplayer. Best multiplayer. Oh, Splatoon. Yeah, it has to be Splatoon. And that's not just because we're a Nintendo channel, it's because we genuinely have so much fun playing that game. Mm -hmm. Hit us up Saturday morning US time, Saturday evening Australian time on Twitch and we will quite likely be playing some Splatoon 3, so yeah. come play with us. We've been smashing it out recently mm. on stream. Heaps of fun. Content creator of the year. Okay. I don't know who any of these people are. I've heard of Nebellion. I like his anime avatar. Yeah, uh, it's that dude, I've seen that anime. Um, the guy with the mind powers, and he <laughs> fights demons, that's like every anime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go Nebellion, I like his style. I like kind of his jib. <laughs> That's such a good saying. Best debut indie. Oh, okay. I reckon Stray. Okay, I'm happy with that. Kitties. <laughs> Best adaptation. Oh, so like movie. 
Okay, Arcane is great. Cyberpunk, we haven't seen. The Cuphead show looks fantastic, but it's still in our backlog because, I mean, who has time to watch TV shows when there's so many games to I play? know. It's like really one or the other, isn't it? Not us. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog is great. Uncharted was really good. Arcane? I guess, I get, yeah, from what I just said. It's Arcane, isn't it? Yeah. It's Arcane. It's really, it is really good. Yeah, it is. Most anticipated game. Oh, this is a good one. So torn. Why? Isn't the answer obvious here? <sighs> is it? Yes. I mean, for me, it is. It's the same one we voted for last year. Now it just has a real name and not just the sequel too. Yeah. Breath of the Wild is your favorite game of all time. Yeah. Surely you're most excited for the sequel. Yeah. I'm really excited for Hogwarts Legacy too, though. You're also a big Harry Potter fan. Yeah, I'm a big Harry Potter nerd, so. But let's go Zelda. Yeah. It is my favorite game of all time, yeah. after all. That, that's my vote too, so. Best eSports game. I think we voted for League last time, I and I would be tempted to do it again. Or maybe, I don't know, Rocket League, because your brother plays it. <laughs> yeah, I reckon Rocket League, because it's the one I've had the most exposure to. And honestly, their tournaments look really fun. They do look really fun, yeah. alrighty. Yeah, let's, let's vote Rocket League. Once again, I have not been brushing up on my esports no. athlete knowledge. Esports is my favorite type of sports, but I still don't care enough about it to be like following the people and who they are and stuff like that. I remember last year we voted for the person who was smiling in their picture, but okay. maybe this time we should go for Chovy because you love anchovies. But yay, he's so smiling. And he is smiling in his picture. Okay, let's use the same formula yeah, as we did last year. Yeah, formula's good. Yeah, look at him, he's a nice guy. He does look he like does, a really He nice looks guy. like the most approachable dude. He gets our vote for being approachable. Best esports team. Uh, again, I don't Should know. we use the same formula? If we were at a party, yeah. what group would you approach? Who would we want to hang out with? Mm. I don't know, dude. I reckon on, these guys. Let me look closer. The LA thieves, they look like they hype each other up. They look like they they have a really good support network. Okay. <laughs> no, but it's Call of Duty. Boom. <laughs> okay, well, let's cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Best esports coach. Who uh, would you want to be your teacher? I reckon once again, I wish this we guy. Could skip. Everyone else looks like they would tell me off. Especially Robin. too businessy, angry. Yeah, don't like him. He oh, looks he right. looks like he would be like a kind of supportive leader. Angry. Let's go, this guy. <laughs> Done. Best esports e event. event. Oh man, it's just so hard, isn't it? I, I, I think we went yeah league last time. Should we go like Valorant this time sure. or something? Because it's got the coolest trophy. Sure. That's it. Oh. Okay. Interesting. So again, I wish we could skip because there is a whole lot of stuff there we have no idea about. But like you said, it's better to vote than not vote. Yeah, but if you genuinely are just voting on how nice someone looks, that's like... I don't know. I just think that that's like a pretty important quality is to be nice in life, so... I guess you shouldn't base your political decisions on how someone's smile is better than the other one. And you should never judge a book by its cover. Exactly. But I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. They are the nominees for the Game Awards 2022. Mm. Surprisingly, not so much controversy there. No, there wasn't a game like last year. I remember we were like spewing over Cyberpunk being in it. Yeah. And there were, our comment section was like, there were debates. Yeah, there was quite in the a comment number section. of debates. But there was nothing this year that I was like, boo. No, I think all the games that got nominated for each individual category are deserving. Mm -hmm. It's obviously some I don't know, so maybe they're not, but they're there anyway. Yeah. Hopefully the show this year is going to be pretty good because, you know, it's always a bit weird and they don't really give a lot of attention to who wins, but... I guess we'll see about that anyway. We will. We will have a reaction video mm -hmm. after the actual event takes place, going through our thoughts and you know, all the winners and stuff and whether we're happy with the judges' decisions and whatnot. Yep. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our 
check that out when it does eventually come out. We do a lot of Nintendo content here on the channel as well. So hit us up if you like that. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for voting. Mm -hmm. It's that time of the year again. Man, it's interesting, isn't it? The year flies by so fast. It does. There's so many more end of the year videos that we've got planned. So again, like and subscribe for those. And we'll see you next week. Peace or out, in a everybody. couple of days, whatever. Yeah, two times in one week with this video. How lucky so are you lucky. guys? Bye. See you next time. Bye.